we'll see how this little Sony in my pocket. <laughs> it's like a song. Alright folks, out here in the garage with the ST and this video is about getting a radar detector uh, onto your bike, at least how I did it to mine. This isn't something I plan to do uh, very often, certainly not even really just kind of riding around town or just ripping a little bit um, if I'm doing some longer range trips. I did a trip um, this last Saturday and I recorded it, but the, I had the GoPro settings all jacked up, so it just didn't work very well. Um, so anyway, this is my Uniden R7 long range. And um, what I'm doing here on the bike is actually using one of those uh, quad locks with the vibration dampener on it right here. So this piece in the middle part, that is the uh, vibration dampener. It doesn't come with the uh, standard quad lock. You have to buy that extra and highly recommend it if you're using it on your bike, even if you're going to use this with your phone because your phone will just get chewed to death um, bouncing around. This thing, again, I did the ride uh, and it actually works pretty great. Uh, it, you know, this thing bounces around a little bit, but I did about 150 miles and I didn't have any problems with, uh, with anything really. So I think it'll be a good fit and it just kind of works out pretty good. It sort of fits right into that little spot right on the side right there. It keeps it nice and level. Um, and then, so the way you do it is you just push this thing down. I actually just put, they make these things called universal mounts. And I just put one uh, on the bottom side. And I put this in my truck too, but as it's sitting up in my truck, I can't even see the mount on the bottom. So it works out fine for me. Um, the other thing that I did on this thing too was I actually put some like JB Weld plastic. So I took, uh, these come, if you look at them on the other side, they come with uh, just like that 3M glue tape kind of stuff. And I didn't trust that. This is a six, $700 radar detector and I didn't trust that on there. I do trust this thing. This is actually a killer mount system right here. So you push this thing down, put it on there and rotate it and it just locks it nice into place right there. It looks really, looks good and it's in the right spot. Unfortunately though, uh, on this particular bike, you know, we all have, we have a, you know, USB down here and it does not have enough power to power this guy. Um, and I wasn't to say, wasn't too shocked about that because I've tried to power some other stuff and um, even my phone uh, barely stays charged, uh, quite frankly. Um, but I initially started with my Zumo XT down here. I did the same thing. It, I, I have this wired into the bike right now, so it's got power. I wired it down here. I bought the, uh, the power splitter the harness thing that that harley has for sale and wired that in down here and then i ran the cables through and did all of that but i initially was like okay well cool this i, I can just run this off of usb power and it was it, it wouldn't even keep it alive i mean it was it'd say that it was charging it it looked like it was charging but the thing it, it wouldn't it, it wouldn't even keep it at the charging level that it was it would still even when it was plugged into the usb so i'm too lazy to look up what the what the power stats are on that what uh, what I ended up buying, I'll put a link to this guy on here, but this is this, uh, it's like a 10,000 milliamp battery pack and it does um, five volts, three amps. And so you can see it's pretty small and uh, it's got several, you can charge it with USB-C or you can charge it with the old uh, micro USB and then it's got two USB connectors on it. Um, so I use that and then for my particular radar detector, and probably yours too, it uses these kind of RJ11 looking connectors, um, like an old phone connector to USB. And so, let me get this thing plugged in here and I'll show you. And KA band. So, you can see, Laser. I got, got it plugged in down here. Bright. Dim. Dimmer. Dark. Off. Auto. Bright. Um, you can change that. So I've got this going and it uh, it runs off of that thing. I ran it for, man, it stayed on for probably three hours and used... GPS connected. And used uh, two of the lights here. So it was about halfway. 
So I would guesstimate you could probably get five, six hours um, out of this battery um, keeping this thing running. So uh, anyway, I'll show you what it looks like on the bike. Beautiful day here in Austin, Texas. And uh, here's my setup right here too. Hopefully this looks pretty good. We got my, my Zumo XT down here. We got this up here. Everything squared up. Looks pretty good. Let's go for a, just a quick ride, quick little rip, and uh, and test these camera settings and see how this thing works. Um, uh, this definitely is not when the wind is really bright. I mean, when the sun is really bright and shining on it, it is a little difficult to see. I noticed that on that longer ride that I took uh, last weekend, <clears throat> but uh, but so far so good. Works pretty good. Let's go. I know you guys can't see it because of the way the camera's mounted and I don't have one that's pointing back at me. But I love this Schubert C5 helmet, but one of the really weird kind of quirky things about it is do a video on that too but how one of the really weird quirky things about this helmet is when you try to close it it's like you have to have it perfect or something with the uh, it's, it's even hard to describe how weird it is but in every other helmet that I've had you could just close it down you know it, it with most of your um, you know pushing from either the right side or the left side or whatever and it would always work this one, man, you got to get it right over the middle of it and close it. And I've got uh, I've got my visor all the way down so that uh, the audio is a little bit better. And I've got this little Sony thing in my pocket. Let's see if we can get some good bike audio. You can see this thing, you know, with that dampener on it. It bounces around nice. No issues. I was out in the Texas Hill Country and all the flowers were blooming. I went to this great little place. I'll go back there and do it and record some video. I even took my drone out there and forgot to fly it. But uh, I'll go back out there. It's out in Castell, Texas. This place called Castell General Store. And this time of year is just absolutely gorgeous because of all the wildflowers. And, and it's just really the quintessential kind of early spring Texas riding around here in the hill country so I live in the Austin Texas area up in the northwest part of Austin and the hill country is kind of like the central ish part of Texas you know anything I guess this is technically kind of the hill country but really out to the west of us about an hour or so so many good roads back there I mean you can just drive for 45 minutes and you pass like three cars you know on these little two-lane road with just just beautiful just out in the middle of nowhere but man this bike is just it is something else with the uh with that Cyclorama 483 cam in it. 
Uh, a video that I've got, I'll probably do upcoming, uh, the guy that tuned my bike, I was telling him, so I don't know if you can see it or not, if I look down here, you can see I've got the, the fueling uh, BA on. And uh, I put that on along with the uh, Trask, Trask Checkmate, the transmission cover thing. I actually put that on first. There's a few little pops and stuff that weren't there during the original tune. So my original tune, I had the the stock uh, air cleaner. Don't you love when guys do this when they just go the same same speed? And then, uh, and then I just recently ch changed over to uh, to this fueling one. And so the other part about this is they've got a kit where you can basically all that oil and stuff that comes in as blow by, you can get rid of all that and uh, get all that stuff to go into a catch can instead of a set it back into your intake. So I put all that stuff on there, and this thing obviously is going to flow more air than that stock. So I called the guy that to my bike, and he was like, yeah, he's like, it's not going to be massively off. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you probably want to come back in and get like a little touch up on it. And I have noticed uh, it was a great tune from the, from, from the stock. I mean, just when he did it the first time, it was great. With this air cleaner, with his new fueling on there, I've noticed a few kind of pops and some things like that. So there's probably some probably some places uh, where uh, it might need a little bit of work. But but anyway, back to this man. That's a great setup now. I've got my my risers, uh, my handlebars. I got everything. This is stock handlebars, but I've got the thrashing 6.5 inch risers and you can't see it behind here but I've got the uh, the pullback plate that you can put on a road glide and uh, and I, I just hate driving in traffic Let me get over here to the interstate kind of area, get on the feeder road and be able to do a couple couple little pulls. Get out of this garbage. Behind all these trucks. But yeah, it's just a great setup. Um, so basically, I've got about eight and a half inches on on the on the risers because these, uh, which you can't see back here, but that pullback plate gives you uh, pull, pulls them back two inches closer to you, and then gets them two inches higher. I also have a little set of Thrash and makes um, some one inch risers that I could use if I wanted to. I'd have to kind of take everything back apart again, but I could use those if I wanted to get everything up uh, one more inch. But uh, it's pretty good the way that it is right now. I'm digging the setup. I've got like, my LaPera tail whip seat. And um, I'm just really happy with the bike. I got these great mirrors that don't... Uh, one of my biggest complaints with the stock mirrors is how much they vibrated. So when you were looking in your mirror, it's like you couldn't really see. You could tell if there was something kind of behind you, but you couldn't really see what it was. These don't vibrate at all. And they stick out a little bit further. And we'll see how this little Sony in my pocket. <laughs> it's like a song. Yeah, 
that thing picks anything up. this was helpful anybody that wanted to uh, look for some options to uh, mount your radar detector and all that good stuff and uh, we'll see y'all for whatever the next video ends up being